Okay, I've got a uh, FH721V. This is a Suzuki uh, motor off of a uh, Gravely lawnmower and <clears throat> lost compression. I was down to about 80 psi. Uh, they're looking for, I think, about 120 to 180, maybe more or less. Well, maybe more, I'm not sure exactly. But anyways, 80 was too low, so I didn't have any power. It would still run, but, but just didn't have the power to run the mower. Um, so I'm, I'm redoing the uh, rings on it, re ringing it. Um, I've got everything apart here. That's your crankshaft. Got the pistons over here, so I'm keeping the same pistons. Uh, basically, everything's staying except the rings. So I'm going to go in here. What I've already done, but, but I'll kind of show you again what I'm doing, is getting into the cylinder walls um, and roughing them up. Uh, called honing the cylinder walls. Uh, you know, different options of what you can do with the motor to increase compression is to either bore out the cylinder and make it larger altogether, which would require new pistons and rings, and probably a machine shop to do to get it bored out right. Um, or you can hone it, which is not really going to you know, increase it beyond its original performance, but it's going to get it close to where it originally was. Definitely get you up and going for you know, a few more years on down the road. Um, so going in here with the right tool uh, and roughing up the cylinder walls is all we're going to do. Having it roughed up a little bit allows those cylinder walls to uh, kind of the the, uh, the roughness allows oil to seat in there a little bit better and fill in the gap so that as those uh, pistons go up and down in the cylinder, the oil is is maintained in the wall so that you don't have the compression leaking past the piston, if that makes sense. So, this is a tool I just buy at most any uh, auto parts places. <clears throat> Put it onto a drill. Uh, this is flexible so that you don't have the rigidity of having to be in the exact correct spot. But basically, turn your drill on, and you see how those expand out. These are a stone, kind of like a sharpening stone, and I'm just going to put that in cylinder wall, run it, go up and down with it, and I'll be ready for our new rings. Like I say, I've already done that one. I've already done them both. So I'm not going to go any further with it. But now as you run your finger across there, you don't have a, a super smooth feeling. You can feel the roughness. So that's a complete honing job on that.